All right, Bolo Buddies, it's time for a reseller vlog. I'm going to show you what I sold and tell you some packaging and shipping tips. And I am a full-time reseller, so let's get started here. I uh, also wanted to mention that I added four additional bundles for tonight's What Not Show at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and four giveaways. So I hope to see you guys tonight at the show. Let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, tonight is the big Styled by Bolo Buddies bundles show on my whatnot. I'll see you at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to go down and grab your $15 to shop. If you have not joined whatnot yet, you can use my referral link and it's free money. And I hope to see you guys at the show. Over here, you can see the different bundles that I'm bringing tonight. It's gonna be so fun. I think this is my third show like this. So let's check out what I sold on eBay and Poshmark. All right, so the first item that sold is in the craft tote right here. Let's see how quickly we can find it. It is a, I believe it's a Martha Stewart punch. And here it is. Right here, this sold for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Definitely look these up if you see them. Some of them can go for big money. All right, you guys, so I just noticed this today, and a lot of times I do not shop from my computer when I'm on eBay, and I was looking for my description, and I scrolled down, and I'm like, where is it? It start. it's like, it's, I see the item specifics. It used to be directly under it. They have made it a tab, so you have to click on it. Does anybody else feel like this could be a problem when like people not knowing and not reading your description? Let me know if you knew about this. And then of course you've got the shipping and all of that. But item specifics is here, but you have to click on it to go to the description. Let me know if you guys knew about this down in the comments. And the reason I was looking at my description is because see this number 61? That's my inventory number for this item because I had multiples and it was a little bit tricky to keep track of them. So I'm going to show you what I did, but oh my goodness, I just can't even believe it. All right, so we're going over here to these pants and these are Express Men's Joggers. I'm looking for number 61. I literally have probably sold 50 to 100 pair of these and I, I know that's a big range, but I really don't remember. So I just want to be as honest as I can. It was a lot. So, oh, right there, 61, it's the first one. A lot of these are marked with a one. So what I did is I double checked measurements like for the waist and the inseam, made sure everything matched and gave everything a number. I had some that were size 28, some that were size 30. So this is so I can come over here and I can just look real quick. You can buy a little um, device that puts these tags into the pants and then I just take this off before I ship it or sometimes I just leave it on, it doesn't really matter. But um, you can see here, I bought these at a discount store, so that means that it is marked through. Why do they do that? That's so you can't return it to the store. Um, so in my description, I just put um, tag is marked through to prevent store returns or something of that nature. And then I take a picture of this and include it in my listing. So those are some little tips for you but I'm going to be shipping these out. They sold for $15.49 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are a part of when I used to source clothing. I went to a discount store and I would buy things in bulk. That's why I had so many of them. Average cost of goods was probably anywhere, probably about $3 is what I usually say my average is. But um, I can't remember what these were. Whatever it was, I probably got them at 90% off if I bought so many, which I did. And it is an express jogger which means the bottoms look like this. So they kind of look like pants, but they have the elastic at the bottom. And I have more of these available in my store if anybody's interested. Links down below in the description. So the Martha Stewart um, punch, I don't remember where I got that or what I paid for it, but I probably got it at a garage sale and it was probably like a dollar, maybe two. I might've paid two for Martha Stewart uh, punches because I know that they can sometimes do well but probably a dollar or less. We're looking for Plush Tote DD, and it's right here, and I think I see it right here on top. I 
I think it's this turtle right here. It's a turtle. I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, trying to see the tag. I don't know. We'll check it out. But um, I sold this for $11.16 and the buyer paid shipping. You know what? I'm just going to leave it in the bag and ship it in the bag to help protect it. Put it in a poly mailer. I'm going to cover the eyes. See how the eyes are plastic? You want to make sure you cover the eyes if you're going to ship in a poly mailer. I do use a padded poly mailer, but I still cover the eyes for an extra layer of protection. Got this at the Goodwill bin. Sold it for $11.16 and the buyer paid shipping. And the brand is Tiger Tails. And just to give you guys an idea, this is how many pictures I took of this plush. Um, I recommend, uh-oh, is it going to let me show you? Yeah, here we go. I recommend using a lot of photos. So I've got the measurements. I show the tag. You want people to know what they are getting. If there's any defects, you're going to want to put that. Um, I put a picture of the back of the tag in case somebody wants care instructions. Sometimes I do that. I don't always do it. But right here is the Tiger Tails tag. All right, that's what it looks like. So $11.16. This is just a bread and butter plush. Um, but, you know, animals sell. People love animals. So it might just be somebody looking for a turtle, not necessarily that brand. Okay, right, so I kept it in the bag. I covered the eyes. I sucked the air out of it. I'm going to try to suck the air out of it more because there's still some air in it. And I'm going to try to get it into a poly mailer. Let's see if I can do it. All right, I got it in there. I had to fold it, but I think it'll be okay. There it is. I did just want to say thank you to everybody that's been coming to my whatnot shows. I have 134 packages. No, I lied. 134 listings going out to, I want to say 30 some people. Those are ready to go and we'll go out with Monday's mail. So again, shout out to all my viewers who have come over and supported the channel and are buying some jewelry. I appreciate you. And thank you to everybody that's just coming to watch as well. Again, my big bundle show is tonight that I'm going to be selling all of the bundles where they have anywhere from 10 to 16 pieces of jewelry in them. Big bundles that look good together. So check out that video if you missed it. It looks like this. It'll show you all the bundles. But currently, after I finish shipping, I'm going to go make a few more bonus bundles for tonight. So I hope to see you at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, what else did I sell? Let's check it out. This little monkey gave me a run for my money. Said it was in tote 28. It wasn't. So I went back and I looked at when I listed this item. And there were like five different totes from that day and the day before. So I started the other day looking for this and I couldn't find it. So I looked for it again and I just found it. I already looked in this tote. It was hidden down in this corner and I didn't see it and I just found it. So I looked in this tote already and I had to come back and I'm like, I'm gonna look through all the totes again. So I probably spent between today and yesterday probably a good 20 to 30 minutes looking for this silly little monkey that sold for, I think, $8.86 plus shipping. I don't know the brand of it. I don't know what it goes to. I believe it says Hong Kong on it somewhere. But yes, I will list things like this because somebody is looking for it. All right. Funny thing is, I just closed this tote and I sold something on Poshmark. And this has been listed a long time. Now, let me tell you a little story about this and I'll need to make sure they're all in here because they're kind of coming out of the bag. I had two sets of these that I bought the same day and they're the collector series, the nature company. And the other set sold so quick. And when I looked it up, the comps were really good. This set has taken a while to sell, but oh my goodness, look, it almost looks the same. How funny is that? Um, but anyway, these are nature patches. I sold these on Poshmark for $20. The buyer paid shipping. Uh, Poshmark takes 20%. So I got $16 for these. And I want to say I paid 50 cents or a dollar for them at a garage sale. This next item, you want to know I have the stink face? Because it costs me money. Yeah. So I believe I got this at TJ Maxx. My cost of goods was $18 in some sense, not a good buy. Um, it was one of those kind of early on when I was starting to source at TJ Maxx on the clearance racks. And I was like, Ooh, the price tag says this much. I can probably get this much. 
It was an extra small and took forever to sell, but it sold finally on Poshmark. Let me, let me show you what it is. <laughs> One thing nice about having swimsuits for sale is that when the stores stop selling them, my swimsuits are listed all year long. So um, right now is really kind of a weird time to be buying swimsuits at a store. I'm guessing, you know, end of August, mid-August. Well, I don't even know what day it is. Probably not a whole lot of stores are really pushing swimsuits right now. So that's probably why this sold. These are all the swimsuits I have left. I used to have a ton of swimsuits there for a while. I was selling a lot of swimwear. This is back when I did clothing. So now I just have to dig through here and find this swimsuit that sold. So I'm kind of looking for the colors. It's not an easy task finding a swimsuit in a pile of swimsuits. What's worse is when the bikinis come apart. Oh, then I really got to search. That's not it. So this one I cannot believe hasn't sold. Are you guys familiar with Magic Suit? Um, man, it is an awesome, awesome brand. This retails for $186. It's a plus size 24. It is beautiful. Um, I can't remember if I had that on eBay and I don't know. I feel like maybe it got unlisted somehow. Like I had the wrong quantity in. So I don't even know if it's still on eBay or if it's just on Poshmark or where it's at. I need to see if it's even listed because I can't believe it hasn't sold. It's still in the original packaging. That was one of those that I sourced off of the Lane Bryant Cacique website. And they sell this brand. I don't know if they still do. I've had this a while. I bought, I want to say probably eight to 10 of them and they all sold really quick. But for some reason, this one didn't. But I don't know if you guys can see that purple. It is stunning, stunning. It's an awesome one piece swimsuit. All right, I'm just like trying to find this. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off and come back on once I have it in my hand. I know it's like got browns in it. All right, I'll be right back. So remember how I told you it stinks when you find one half and not the other? <laughs> I found the top, now I'm gonna go find the bottom. It has this nice little top to it, which made it easier than just trying to find a black bottom. So um, you can see here, it's an extra small. It's Ann Cole, $46 and $48. So what, 90 something for the set. I sold this for $23 on Poshmark. I sent out an offer, so they got discounted shipping. My earnings on this was like $16 and some cents. So definitely lost money on this. And that's how the cookie crumbles. So I had 18, 18, I think it was in this suit. And I get from Poshmark 1638, I do believe. So it's super cute. It's kind of got this little splatter look to it. It's, it's just a darling cute swimsuit, but unfortunately, um, it just took a long time to sell and I kept reducing the price and I'm going to lose money on this one, but I made back most of my money. So it happens. Let me know if you've ever lost money on an item down in the comments. This is for those of you that are going to ask me how I'm going to ship that little monkey. I'm going to bubble wrap it and I'm going to stick it in this little box right here. And a lot of times with my small toys, I will use um, these right here. But for this guy, because his legs are long and lanky, I just don't want to take a chance of him breaking. So this is a pillow box. These are great for small toys. But in this instance, I'm going to use this. So one thing that I love about Poshmark is everything is priority mail and you are allowed to use flat rate envelopes on Poshmark. So I'm going to take, these are the patches. I put them inside here and I'm going to put a thank you sticker on here and I'm going to throw it in this flat rate envelope, slap um, the label on it and it's ready to go. I'm going to do the same thing with the swimsuit out the door. All right, Bola Buddies, hope to see you tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Bundle Show. It's going to be a great time. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. It's a lot of fun, and you might win one of the giveaways. All right, I'll see you guys tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.